Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of determining the validity of equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2016 released star test. If we have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have uh, equations here, and we have a solution of two-thirds. We need to make n equals two-thirds. We need to find which one of these actually equals two-thirds. There are two ways to solve this problem. Let me start with the, uh, the longer, slightly slower way, but it might work for some of you, and that's just plugging this two-thirds in to each n. So we're going to take two-thirds, we're going to plug it into each n and see if the equation balances. So let's look at A. Let's put that right up here. So I'm going to put two-thirds in place of that n, minus one. Does that equal one-third? Well, we need to simplify the left side. Two-thirds minus one. Well, one, let's make that easier. Two-thirds, one is the same as three-thirds. Three over three makes one. Three divided by three makes one. So let's see if that helps. So two-thirds minus three-thirds, nope, unfortunately, we're going to get a negative one-third. So the fraction is correct, but the it's negative rather than positive. So that is incorrect, and so no, it's not going to be A. So let's take a look at B. And I've got 16N, so I'm just going to put 16, and then I'll just put a little two-thirds right here. Why do they say that equals 24? Well, how do we multiply 16 times 2 thirds? Well, there's a few different ways to do it. What I like to do is I like to make 16 into a fraction. So 16 over 1 or 16 once is what 16 is as a fraction. Now that's 2 thirds and take a look. We can just go straight across now. So 16 times 2 is 32. 1 times 3 is 3. Does that equal 24? No. This 32, well, it's not going to be even. It's going to be 10 and 2 thirds. If we want to go back to mixed number, it does not equal 24. So that is problematic. Let's take a look at this C, 15n. So 15 times 2 thirds equals 10. So we'll do that same thing. Let's do 15 over 1 times 2 over 3. See if that equals 10. So 15 times 2 is 30. And we've got 1 times 3 is 3. Oh, that's going to look better. Look at 30 divided by 3. Yep, 10 equals 10. So that looks like it's probably going to work. Let's just double check. Make sure D is incorrect in case we did something wrong. So I've got 1 and 1 third plus 2 thirds equals 3. This can be a little bit simpler to solve. So I've got my 1 third and my 2 thirds makes a whole. So really this is going to be 1 and 3 thirds equals 3. I'm going to change this 3 thirds into another 1, so it's going to be 1 plus 1. So really that's 2. 1 and 3 thirds is the same as 2. It's not equal 3. So no, that's not going to work. Now, what is the simpler way to do this? Let me take this again. I'm going to go back to C. We know that one works. 15n equals 10. Rather than just plugging in that 2 thirds and doing all that, let's isolate the variable. So 15 times n. So the inverse is what we need to isolate the variable. The inverse operation of multiplication, because it's 15 times n, it's going to be division. The opposite of multiplication is division. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So if we 15 times n, and then we divide by 15, guess what we're going to get? n by itself. But we cannot simply divide one side by 15. Remember, our equations need to be balanced, which means we need to divide both sides by 15. So now I'm going to get n on this side, and I'm going to get 10 over 15, but guess what? I'm going to reduce by 5 over 5, because so we're going to simplify, and guess what you get? 2 thirds. It gave us the answer right there. You could Isolate the variable for each of these, and you would find that the answer is C.